Quest. Today I'm going to show you how to recreate this Cinderella's look. It's going to be perfect for a prom, for a graduation, for a wedding, and of course for a ball. Just don't forget to leave behind that shoe so that your Prince Charming could find you later on. I want to get those tight, voluminous and bouncy curls, and my favorite jumbo curlers are perfect for this purpose. There are three main reasons why I love this roller so much. First of all, they do not damage my hair like high heat tools. Then these curls last much longer than those obtained with a curling iron or a straightener. And finally, they take only a couple of minutes to apply and curl my hair overnight when I go to sleep. This way I can wake up with beautiful curls without wasting much time on curling my hair. And of course, for that extra length and volume in my medium length and very thin hair, I'm using my glam time clipping hair extensions. This time I applied this curler slower down at the nape of my head to get that Cinderella look with straight roots and curly mid-lengths and ends. And one thing I really like to do is wear this hair net over my rollers. It really helps to secure them at night when I go to sleep and prevent any freeziness. Well, I actually have to spend another 5 minutes on styling these curls, but that's really nothing compared to the time I would spend if I used a curling iron or a straightener. Every time I remove a curler, I get this single tight and bouncy curl. I want to divide it into multiple smaller ones. So I split a tiny strand of hair from this big curl and twist it around my finger to redefine it. Today I'll be styling my hair only using my hands, but you could also brush out your hair to get that beautiful and glamorous old Hollywood wave. So I basically transform one single curl into these beautiful ringlet curls. The thicker are the sections that you curl, the softer will be your curls. And the tighter you roll them onto your roller, the tighter they will be. At first they're super bouncy and voluminous, but over time they're going to relax a little bit, looking more beautiful and natural. These curlers are available on jumbocurlers.com, and right now I'm hosting a giveaway. So for your chance to win three sets of these curlers, follow the instructions in the description box. That's how my curls turned out. Now we're going to create a twisted headband. For that I'm going to grab a strand of hair at the back of my head and split it into parts. Now I'm going to create a regular rope braid. So I twist the hair in each section away from my face and then I twist the sections around each other in the opposite direction toward my face. So I firstly twist the hair away from my face and then twist the strands toward my face. I twist the hair and I twist the strands. I twist the hair and I twist the strands. To make my braids appear even fuller, I could always tug on its sides. But I think I'm happy with this size of the braid. Once I reach the ends, I secure the braid with a small elastic band. Now we simply have to bring this braid to the other side to create a kind of a headband. Of course you could secure it using hairpins, but I prefer to use elastic bands for this purpose. So I grab a tiny strand of hair at the back of my head and secure it with a small elastic band together with the end of my braid. We're done with the headband and now it's up to you how to finish off this hairstyle. Many of you often ask me to show some hairstyles that cover your ears and this could be perfect hairstyle for this purpose. But for the authentic Cinderella look, we won't be covering our ears. We'll simply direct this hair behind the braids, gently twist it and then secure it with a bobby pin inserting it from the inside. Do the same thing on the other side and your Cinderella hairstyle is complete. For the authentic Cinderella look, I parted my hair in the middle, but of course you could also go with your favorite side part. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment. I love seeing your recreations on Instagram, so feel free to tag me at Lilith Moon Life, Lilith Moon Hair. I thank you very much for watching and I see you in my next video. Bye!